Come over here! What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. should have landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here, that's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others, they have relatives there. Maybe. It's been 10 years, but I could still be alive. Anyways, We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well, we'll have to live and see about that.
Here's our team back from the abyss of NATO occupation. You're alive! <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real man. Artyom, stop by my disc once you're done talking to the old man. <laughs> I've got something for you. Katya, Artyom, Katya. Come, come over here, please. Don't be shy. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we have to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Thank you. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who could have known that fanatics were in control now? Artyom, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The readings are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. Artyom? Afraid? Bullshit! Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down the sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worse. But this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I, I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator after all. By the way, did you see any of those? Uh, back in the States, I mean.
You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blit, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers are never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, Blit. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Krist, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east, now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal blip. The cult is considered a holy place, covered at all in graffiti, schmafiti, there... <laughs> Tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now.
Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not a palace, but oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Let's go buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they will probably just scared shitless by your arrival. How glad they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too! <laughs> uh, you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. But this... Uh, that's another story, though. These ugly looking bastards one of them, it's nothing, but you come across a pack of them, or just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Now, you could take the zip line down, just hook up, and uh, away you go. Woohoo, the motherfuckers are smart, throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. <laughs> 